Okay, so next is question number 11. So what it says, this question looks uh, lengthy, okay, but the answer obviously will be simple. In geometry, it is always like this. Most of the question seems to be tough, but when you solve and try to understand things, it is much more simple than you think, okay. So see in this question also, what it says, in triangle ABC and DEF, AB is equal to DE. So the uh, diagram is already given. In triangle ABC and DEF, they have given that AB is equal to DE. So I have to mark it with red pen. Okay, it's much more convenient and easy to understand things. That's why I have uh, marked this one with red pen. So this is they have said they are uh, these are parallel as well as equal also. Okay, so try to see carefully. They are parallel as well as equal. So we will use this information anyway. Next, BC is equal to EF. BC, BC is equal to EF and they are parallel also. So this is equal to this and they are also parallel. Okay, so we will use this information also. Okay, vertices, this, this, this are joined respectively. It means this and this are joined. So I have already drawn that one. Okay. These are joined. So I have joined with dotted line. You can make continuous lines also no problem. But it's easy to understand like this. Okay. So see carefully what they have asked you to show now. Show that. So the information which is given is only this one. This and this parallel and equal. This and this parallel and equal. That's it. And no other information here. So using this information only I have to solve all the problems. So see hit number one. Quadrilateral A, B, E, D. Now where is quadrilateral A, B, E, D? A, B, E, D. Is a parallelogram you have to show. So first part what it says. Quadrilateral A, B, E, D is a parallelogram. So to show parallelogram. What is the meaning of parallelogram remember? You have to show both pair of opposite sides are parallel. Now see here. Which quadrilateral they are talking about? Quadrilateral A, B, E, D. So let me draw separately that one. It's always better to draw separately. Otherwise, from this diagram, it will be very confusing. Okay. So, you can see A, B, E, D. So, I have to show this is parallelogram. So, for that, I have to show both pair of opposite sides are parallel. Now, you can see already they have said these are parallel. And they have said also equal. Okay. So, given for one. Okay. This one. Given A, B, E parallel to DE. So my first problem is already solved. It is already given. I just have to show this a parallel. And what is given? And AB is equal to AB a, is equal to DE. This is also given. So let's see how I can use this information. So in this case, you can directly also write down that this is a parallelogram, but it's better to write down the uh, uh, question in detail this one okay if you write down in detail you will get full marks for that and if you don't write also obviously you will get if you, you can easily understand this one we have already done in lower class also if two sides like this are of same length and if they are parallel we know the distance between them will be same and they also will be parallel this is practically also we can understand and we have done this one also in lower class okay by any but anyway we will prove this one okay in this case simply we will not write thus, thus a b c, uh, e d is a parallelogram we cannot write directly like that okay so let's try to prove this so see how i can prove so i have to prove that this a d and b e also parallel right now how i can do that now using this only i cannot Prove right this one. So do I need any other construction? Okay, let's see. If I construct here one line, remember this is parallel and equal. Okay, so if it is parallel, this will be transversal. Okay, now why I have drawn this one? See, if this is parallel and equal, I can use this one to show that this triangle and this triangle congruent. So if I can show this two triangle congruent, you can see this and this will be corresponding. This itself will be corresponding to itself. And this and this will be corresponding parts. So I can say that they are equal. So C congruence C will help you here also to find out this are 
parallel and equal okay so if i can show they are equal problem solved right they are uh, they will be parallel also okay because you have already see, uh, seen a theorem right where you have studied that both pair of opposite side if it is equal they will be parallel and it will be a parallelogram you have studied that one so i have to construct here a diagonal if i draw this diagonal see the advantage if i can show this two congruent i can easily show they are equal problem solved now the question is how you will show this two are congruent so see carefully to show this two are congruent three proper remember four properties were there out of that three things you have to show side 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 if you, are, you can show this side angle side or angle side angle or right angle hypotenuse side out of this one you can show so in this case which one you can show so first thing this is equal to this if you want you can draw this triangle also separately but since you have done many time i hope you can understand in this diagram only how to show now can i say this angle now this is equal to itself right so problems of this two side side solve now see this angle and this angle can i say they are also equal because see this is parallel line and this are alternate interior angle so problems of side angle side side angle side so these two are congruent therefore this will be equal corresponding part right so equal so if it is equal it will be a parallelogram okay so this kind of question you have already done in previous uh, part right previous part you have already done this kind of say, uh, question so i don't think that you will have problem in this portion okay so what i have to write here uh, in quadrilateral a b e d now see second part it's it will be same okay you can write similarly so no problem in you i have to show this one parallelogram so the same concept you can use like this one so for that you don't have to write similarly you can write down there okay so in quadrilateral a b e d that's why i've shown you in the first question only in detail let us construct diagonal bd so from the diagram only i will write everything diagonal bd we have constructed right so in triangle abd abd and triangle bed what i can write ab is equal to de given next angle abd is equal to angle ed b y alternate interior angle okay next bd is equal to bd common right bd is equal to bd common so can i say triangle therefore triangle abd congruent to triangle bed okay so if it is congruent can i write now ad is equal to be why corresponding part of congruent triangle so we have shown that ad is equal to be and we have a theorem that in a quadrilateral if both pair of opposite sides are equal then it will be a parallelogram so therefore ab ed is a parallelogram why conclusion you can write as both pair of both pair of opposite side opposite sides of a quadrilateral equal thus it will be parallelogram okay you can write in that way so number 2 what you will write similarly uh b e f c is a quadrilateral or you can first write down this given portion uh b e b c this one you can write down b c parallel to e f b c parallel to e f and b c is equal to e f just first line you write down then write down similarly b c b e f c right b e f c is uh parallelogram 
you can write down that okay so two you don't have to prove at all number three you have to show ad parallel to cf where is ad ad parallel to cf that is much more simple you can see we have already shown that this and this parallel right and we have already shown this and this parallel because this also will be parallelogram right so from the diagram try to understand if this and this parallel and this and this parallel so can i say c and this uh, c e f and a d also will be parallel yes of course so how we will write down very simple since a d parallel to b e proved okay this one and c f parallel to b e this parallel to this this parallel to this so obviously if this is parallel to this one and this is parallel to this one then this and this also must be parallel therefore ad parallel to cf okay this is way of presentation only problem is very simple okay so ad parallel to cf already shown and you have to show ad equal to cf that also same we have already seen right ad since it's a parallelogram opposite side must be same right this also this must be same so ad and be equal again a b e d is a parallelogram you just need to know all the properties i have already explained all these things in your previous video if you don't know property then obviously you will face problem here okay so a b e d is a parallelogram right so since this is parallelogram can i write ad is equal to be <clears throat> and b e f c also parallelogram b e f c is a parallelogram therefore can i say c f and b e equal c f is equal to b e one this is two you can see now see writing it becomes little lengthy right but if you understand from the diagram it's much better because from the diagram only i'm writing everything so if you see here and try to understand you might face problem there so try to see the diagram and try to understand there itself whatever you have understood write down that one okay so i have already seen that this and this parallel and equal this and this parallel and equal therefore this and this also must be parallel and equal okay so from 1 and 2 c ad is equal to be cf is equal to be so this also equal to be this also be equal to so can i say ad is equal to cf so from 1 and 2 can i write ad is equal to cf done okay so next number 4 you have to prove quadrilateral acfd is a parallelogram acfd is a parallelogram simple this and this parallel you try to prove in a same way this and this parallel means what you will do try to draw diagonal here like this one you prove exactly same in the first case what they have given this and this parallel and equal and you have shown that this and this parallel right so if this is parallel this become parallelogram same way here also this and this parallel now you take it as known value because you have already proved this parallel and equal so you have to show this and this parallel only okay like this one exactly same okay so if you show this one and this one parallel it will be a parallelogram so similarly you can show that okay so you write this one yourself next number 5 ac equal to de ac equal to df sorry df so if you show this one parallelogram obviously you can write this and this equal so you don't have to do anything here very simple so just show this one you will get answer for this easily next number 6 abc congruent to def a b c congruent to d e f so you have already seen this and this equal this and this equal and you will prove this and this also equal so by side 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 congruency congruency you can say this is congruent very simple so rest of the portion you can do yourself that's why i said this question is easy you just need to concentrate the first question properly try to understand rest you can solve it okay